Aki Hanma Fight Stance from the poster for season two. So this is pretty cool. So just not his feet, because I don't draw feet. Unlike the PewDiePie of drawing. He doesn't have feet and I don't draw feet. That's just how it is. <laughs> so landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. Center point of my page, about here. Come up a little bit, head just in this space, right? So center point about there, a little bit. Eye is gonna be a little bit higher than halfway. So we'll go diagonal first. And then we bring it across. It's like real spiky out of the corner and then back down. And then this comes across the front. Like so. We can thicken up the top eyelid a little bit. And there might be like a bit of a spike or something coming off there. Okay, then he has a top eyelid line just coming across the top there. And his iris, so he's looking upright, so we just got a half circle underneath the eye. Pupil, half circle, just looking up at us there. I think they draw in some eyelashes like coming across the bottom there. Not much though. And then his eyebrow, so kind of pointy, sort of going. that way goes underneath his hair but I'd say stops about there and then it comes down to the front like so right so his nose so it'll sort of curve around like that and then it sort of bumps out a little bit on top around up and down for the nostril back to there we got like some hatching on the bridge of his nose like that so his mouth then so real like angled right so it goes a letter M sort of shape up down like so and he's got these little dimples on the corners and then like a line for his like top lip and there and then a mole like that and his bottom lip just drawn in here so we're in three quarter pose, right? So like, that's why things are at this angle. And like this side of his mouth is longer than this side. Because this side of his face will be turned away from us. So, his other eye, it's, it's high, it starts higher up. It's like in line with the eyebrow here on this side, right? Because his head is turned away, we're in three quarter, right? So the top eyelid line will go like that. So we're on this diagonal sort of line now. Spiky still in the corner. And then it just curves back down around and into the side of the nose there. We can thicken up maybe the corner and the top eyelid line a little bit. Make it a bit darker. And then again, a half circle. So we're curving down 
looking up at us like so and then the pupil just underneath there as well and then they do put in some eyelashes looks like just coming down here a little bit the nose line becomes the eyebrow line right so it goes kind of hooks around we just need to add a little spot to color brown just there So the chin, just a curve line here. And because we're in three quarter pose, we're gonna see like two different shapes, right? So you got the jaw on this side and the cheek on this side. So the jaw will go diagonal and then it'll change direction and go up towards his ear. On this side, then you have the cheek, right? So it curves in and out around, like goes in towards the mouth out around the nose and back up into the eye for his cheek right so it's a different shape on that side so three-quarter pose is a harder facial position to draw but it looks cool and then we go around the eyebrow and up into his hair so you got a sideburn, he's quite long hair. Coming down here and you can just see his earlobe and some of his ear in there. So then his hair covers the top of his ear and it just goes around his fringe and everything. So of course his eyebrow as well. So we'll go just these spiking Right, and some like hair sticking out from behind his ear. And then his fringe, so hair spikes going around his head, covering some of his nose and eyebrow and stuff like this and then it'll go like around, it'll stop it. So it's covered by his fist up here somewhere. So we've got all these hair spikes just coming around his head. And like his fist is like here. So say. His fist somewhere here. Okay, so there's like some textures. Okay, so we've got like an arm on the top of his head and an arm underneath, two fists. So one here, so we'll go just where this hair meets this hair here. One, two, this is like, each of these are a finger. Three, or a knuckle, should I say, to be more clear about it, it's like, right, like that. And then his thumb comes across 
underneath there. And then it's like a thumbnail. Like that. Right, and then knuckles. And they're really big knuckles, right? Because he's like a fighter. So they're exaggerated and round, calloused, big things. And he's got like all these skin lines. On the knuckle. And then there's like these lines underneath. Some hatching. Like so. And then maybe just some more hairlines just in there. So his arm travels back this way, big round forearm, up to his elbow, down this way into his wrist again, there. And this'll have like all sort of muscle lines on it. So all these muscle fibers you can see on his arm. And then like his shoulder and bicep, so like so tricep will go that way. Bicep then goes down that way. Another muscle line there. And then the shoulder down that way. And he's all these peach scars on his hand. So you can you could draw in the scars like if you wanted. You know, you could just add like lines like you could draw them in my line or colour. They're done with colour in the actual anime, so it's sort of up to you what way you want to do it. Right. So, he's hunched down. We can see his back, his knee, and the other fist. So we'll do the other fist first. Just kind of a mirror image here. So we go knuckle four and then it comes down around those round knuckles again All right so each of these is a finger with a little letter y's at the top just to make them look like skin folds and then these knuckles come around And again, like a big round calloused. Callous knuckles. Okay, so his thumb is that there. Thumbnail, knuckle lines, back of the hand. And then his wristband. His forearm, down to his elbow. So again, we have like lots of muscle lines, and then some scarring. Mm -hmm. 
might be faster for me to do all the scars with color. I'll just add a couple. Just to give you an idea, there is way more. So, shoulder, big round shoulder deltoid muscles, two bumps here. Curve around and go in behind his hand. Like that. So lots of anatomy now, basically. Unusual pose. So his tricep sticks out here, goes down behind his forearm. And then lots of muscle lines. Right, with some scars. So it's kind of like a floating arm, right? And then there's like a knee here and then his back, right? So I guess we'll do the knee first just here. Right, this bumpy, bony kind of knee. And then his calf muscle comes down his shin. And then on the other side, goes down that way. And then we have loads of muscles on this. And then there's like all scars and stuff on his knee. Okay, and like a scar on his shoulder as well. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm making noises now to myself. It's like, hmm, tricky, tricky, tricky anatomy. So his back, back, he's back, back again. Sort of curves down this way. And then goes up around here. He's got like another muscle line that way. And then more. Lines inside. It's like his trapezius here and then bumping around back muscles that way. Joining up to his neck. That way. And then his throat sticks out here. It's got a shadow underneath. That. And then his chest there. And then we have another leg sticking out this side. And we got his like, oh, his red trunks is like here and his, his hamstring. It's like a curve line. So that'd be red. Like this is clothing, but it's all stretched around his leg. And we got like some more scars and stuff. Another scar here. Okay, so we're just missing like his other leg, which it's, it's like it's going back to the side. So, thigh that way, kneecap there, and then shin goes down that way. And then around, right? And we have his, he's got this white wristband on his ankle as well. So this just will be here. OK. 
Okay, and then his heel just comes off this way. I don't draw feet, but this once I'm drawing a couple of toes. People are like, why does he not draw feet? It's just so complicated to draw feet. Hands are complicated enough. I'm going to draw feet as well. What? So his foot just goes off this way. This was all anatomy in here as well. He's another thigh muscle. Like, I even don't like that toe. Ugh, I hate drum feet. <laughs> uh, so, like that. And then this goes this way. That way. There's another, like, muscle line there. Okay. Then you can add, like, a couple of scars. So, okay, I think that's everything. Backy, hand math, fight pose. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.